Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Jacoby. And Jerry from Papa Roach. And you are watching pitcan.tv. The inspiration for that track, that, that album in general is just life. You know, life keeps happening. Um, but definitely the corner, you know, fear the track is the cornerstone for the record. And you know, me facing my fears is a, is, is a huge element in the process of, you know, the lyric writing of this record. I bear all, I mean, I, I put myself out there 100% on this record. Female singer on Gravity, Jerry Horton. Um, Maria Brink from In This Moment. Uh, we had talked about having a, a female vocal on a, on a record. Uh, for, we've been talking about it for a while, and it just happened that they were going to be in the studio at the same time. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, music's. Music's a powerful thing. I've uh, I've just been fortunate enough to be able to be in a rock and roll band and express what I'm going through, my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, express my demons, face my fears through music, you know. And a lot of artists, a lot of people approach art with that on their minds or in their hearts, you know. You just got to go and express yourself. And we just got music that. I don't know, man, it just, it all fits together, you know, it's, there's a purpose behind what we're doing and a reason, and we've just been fortunate enough to be able to make this music for a long time, and had a lot of fans over the years come up to us and tell us that our music has, you know, been a big, I don't know, just been a big part of our lives, of their lives, in feeling not so alone in something that they're going through, or, you know, so it's just a, it's awesome. I love it. My favorite song right now on the new album is Face Everything and Rise. Mine, uh, I might have to say gravity. Ooh. Yeah. Those are those are both, I, we believe, standout tracks on the record. Mm. I like uh, Old MacDonald had a farm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that part where we're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like falling apart right now. That'll probably change. You know. Yeah, right now I'm into actually face everything and rise. Uh, it's one of the. It's just got an attitude to it, and um, it's fun to play. Uh, we're gonna start playing it live here soon. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about that because <laughs> playing new songs is. Uh, face everything and rise. I, I'm I'm stoked on playing that. I think it's gonna be a good. Jumper. Yeah, that'll get, I think that's going to get crowds popping straight up. The rain is a blessing in disguise. The flood's coming and it's drowning all the lies. The rain, the rain is a blessing in disguise. The flood's coming and it's drowning all the lies. I will face everything and rise. Never gonna quit until I die. Angels keep falling from the sky. I'll take your broken wings and I mean, there's several songs on the record that we're, we're into. Like, we, we always do a record and we're like, okay. You know, there's always a group of songs that we're like, these will go great live. And this record, you know, we were talking about the other day. I was like, what, what don't we play? You know, so it's going to be hard to choose. I want to play um, Broken Is Me. Yeah. Uh, this is like, this is one part in, this, in, the, in the middle section of the song. Or it's just like this heavy riff, and it's just like the most simple, like yeah, head banging riff. And I just want to just sit there and just 
bang my head to it. <laughs> down, down, da, da, down, da, da, down, da, da, down, yep. down, down. It's such an easy thing. It's like, you know, that kind of riff where your finger just goes like this. <laughs> It's, it's evolved in so many ways. I mean, it's like, if you start, if we start to look back at the entire career of, of P. Roach, you know, we started out as a funk punk band and then got into metal and brought those elements in. Jerry was a metal head, you know, and brought those elements into Papa Roach. And then, you know, rap metal was a huge, uh, that was, a, that was a, I mean, new metal was a, was just a, those, that era was huge. Yeah. I mean, it was like the biggest style on the planet. We came in with that, and then after new metal was dead, we're like, well, what's next, man? We want to keep evolving. You know, that's what we did from the beginning of our career and discovered the roots of rock and roll. You know, uh, I stole my, well, not stole, but my father in law was getting rid of his record collection. I was just sitting in the garage. I'm like, what are you doing with that record collection? Oh, nothing, man. You could have it. Took that, discovered the roots of rock and roll, fell in love with bands like Queen. I always loved Led Zeppelin, but you know, really just, just went into a lot of '70s rock, and that I think that kind of inspired uh, the Paramore sessions and Metamorphosis, just the grandiosity of some of that '70s rock. Not necessarily did we sound like it, but it just had an influence on what we were doing. And then, you know, now to where we're at, it's like anything goes. You know, we love electronic music, we love punk rock, we love hip hop, we love rock. We love pop, you know, so all those things have an influence on, on, on what music we're creating and you know, what music is going on right now. Like some of it we love it and some of it we fucking hate, you know? And so it's like, we'll take bits of what we like and, and let that influence us. And that always helps us evolve as a, as, a, as a band. Like if Tony is really inspired by a drummer, I'm sure, and this drummer is maybe like really like fancy with ghost notes and high intricate hi hat things, Tony's gonna pr probably want to play, you know, something like that in one of our songs. Like for me, um, you know, obviously I've been influenced by lots of different types of electronic music, so that kind of made its way into, you know, some of the music. And but that's not to say that. It's not just a phase, it's, you know, or, or like we might not, we might do it on this record, but not on the next record, you know what I mean? Um, I think Jacoby sings a lot more, you know what I mean? He's, especially on this new record, he has a different style of singing on a couple of different songs. Um, they're really surprising. It's like, it's cool when, when uh, we do things that kind of surprise each other, you know, like really impressive. Like, wow, I didn't, yeah. I've never heard you sing like that before. That's, that's fucking awesome. It sounds rad, you know, like. To me, Skeletons is an example of a song like that falling apart. And so, I mean, I, the music's always evolving and changing because as, as people, we are always evolving and changing. As musicians, we're always evolving and changing. But at the core of everything we do, it's always got that Papa Roach stamp on it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's always going to be guitar, bass, drums, and vocals like in your face. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're not afraid to, to change either, you know? I mean, just bring... We like to see how far we can stretch things in, you know, yeah. certain certain areas, and I think that's key for longevity and, you know, yeah. it's just a natural part of evolution. Every day, internal struggles, you know, <laughs> you know how it is. Just life, life can kind of beat you down. I mean, you you can beat yourself up. You know, your ego can take the best of you. Um, well, War Over Me essentially was about my journey to Las Vegas to record this record and just what was going on in my personal life. You know, I quit, quit drinking and doing drugs a couple, couple years before and, uh, you know, Las Vegas is the perfect city to just go get lost in that whole lifestyle. And so there was just this, this internal struggle within myself of, you know, do I do the right thing or... Do I do what my flesh is pulling me to go do, you know? And so it's just that internal battle that, that, that rages on inside myself that will always be there, you know, the, the, the battle between good and evil inside myself. And I just, uh, I think writing a song about that kind of gave me some freedom. You know, it's like I'm standing on the front line, I'm fighting for my soul, like I'm fighting to get to the best version of myself. 
you know, to really get to learn like the, the, the good pieces of myself again, because I kind of lost those over the years of giving myself to this, you know, this cliche of rock and roll, you know, and I just, I, I became so broken and became just kind of a, and I mean, I always had a smile on in the world, but inside it's just that, uh, that war going on, you know, it's a, so put it in the music, you know, and warriors, it's like, if you look out in this world right now, it's, it's pretty crazy. You know, a lot, it's like you turn on the news and it's like, it's just, it's like a flood of fear. And it's like, I mean, right now, what's, what's going to annihilate the human race? Yeah. You know, each year there's this new epidemic that they're trying to sell you, you know? So for me, it's just like, you know, it feels like we're at this boiling point of humanity and this song just, you know, it really touches on that. Like, okay, you can get consumed by the darkness and the fear, or you could shine your light and uh, there's, there's nothing better than that, you know what I'm saying? Being able to go out there and be a positive force in this world, you know, to, 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 what can I offer to the flow of society instead of take away, you know? And so those, the, the, that, those songs really, you know, it's, it's that internal struggle and that internal battle between, you know, are you a giver or are you a taker? It's always music first. Yeah. It's always like lyrics, especially when we made this record, we, we would show up in the studio and we, we actually showed up to the studio we didn't have anything, any songs pre-written. Like we, we, we wrote and recorded as, you know, all at the same time. So it was kind of just like, hey, like here, you know, here's a cool, this isn't a, an idea, here's a riff, here's a chord structure arrangement, here's a verse and a chorus. You know, let's, uh, let's kind of put a basic arrangement down and make a musical bed, a foundation, if you will, and then give it to Jacoby, and then he listens to it a hundred million times until it kind of speaks to him or he's got something he wants to say on top of it. And he'll work on the lyrics of that music while we are, you know, on to the next song. And it's just kind of that cycle. Um, we, we've actually never, I think, written a song with lyrics first. We all lived in a house together, and so once we got a flow going, we would pretty much every day demo something up, bring it to the studio, play it for Jacoby and, and our producers, and, and determine at that point whether we you know, explore the song further or just kind of set it aside. Um, so Yeah, and sometimes like, there'll be pieces of uh, music that we work on at some point in our career that just didn't feel like it fit at that time like that song devil yeah. that was something we've been working on years before and jerry and tobin brought it back around and you wrote another chorus mm -hmm. for it and just gave it new life and it just seemed like all right now it fits in the context of who we are as a band and what we're doing so it'd be interesting to see like the pieces that weren't used for this record how in the future they yeah. will eventually become the right piece that we need at that time so it's real interesting how we create but yeah music always first and then whatever's inspiring me i'll just listen to it i'm almost like listening to the music to wait for what the music is telling me you know in a weird way it's like I kind of have a, I have this thing where it's like, I like to think of it as the lyrics are already written. I just got to wait for them to come to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like they're out there in space and I just got to go, oh yeah, they're right there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it makes any sense, but it's like the music is already telling me what, what I'm supposed to say. I don't know. It's kind of, it's good. It's weird how it works like that. Oh man. I mean in many ways i mean if you look at it it's like if your fear of failure in just reaching out like for instance to to my lady you know it's like i could have been afraid i'm with her 20 years later you know over 20 years but i could have been in fear of just putting myself out there going you know hey what's up let me get let me get your number let's talk let's go on a date like sometimes people are too fearful to ask that girl out that they think is beautiful for fear of rejection and that can change the course of your life, you know, and sometimes when you just got enough balls to just, you know, work yourself up to walk through your fear, it can, it, it can just change the whole direction of your life. And it's, it's, it's pretty interesting how, you know, these small decisions, you know, that we make affect our lives in such a major way. You know, it's like, fuck, dude, like the decision to 
asked Jerry to come join the band in Papa Roach, like he was like, nah, I'm not, nah. I'm like, come on, dude, just come jam with us. And he's like, all right, you know, and look how that decision changed the course of our entire existence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like P Roach couldn't be P Roach without Jerry or P Roach couldn't be P Roach without me. Like it's like, it's, it's, it's pretty fascinating when you start to think about the decisions in your life, how they truly affect your life in insanely drastic major ways. Um, I think the first couple of times we really didn't like the food here. Mm -mm. Yes. No, I'm like, Ugh. but we've come to love it. Uh, I love it. Usually all American people love European food. Oh, dude, when we first no. came here, we were like, this shit's weird. Yeah. Now we totally love it, man. I mean, German people, German fans, the humor, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, we've, we didn't know how to really take going to different cultures when we were young 22 year old American boys you know but now that we've traveled the world and fallen in love with the British people fallen in love with the German people fallen in love with Scandinavian people you know it's like you just embrace these these uh, different cultures and their food and it's just it's awesome we get to travel the world and I like coming here during um, like just before Christmas yeah and what do you call that Christmas markets and yeah, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, no, the markets. What do you call um, them? In German, we call them Weihnachtsmarkt. Yeah, Weihnachtsmarkt. Yeah. Christmas we love it. That's always nice, man. The smell, you're like... Yeah. Mm. <sighs> do you know any other German words? Scheiße. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ja. Do you want to learn Leuven. something new or... Sorry? Yeah, what do you got? Oh, of course I'd love to learn something new. What do you want to know? Um, how, can I say, do you want to make love? Willst du Liebe machen? 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 Oh, ja. Yeah. <laughs> What about you, Jerry? What do you want to learn? Witz du Liebe machen? No, I don't. Witz du Liebe machen? Witz du Liebe machen? Ja. Maybe something you want to order? Uh, something useful? Something oh, fun. something useful. Where's the, where's the bathroom? But you it's call this bottle is but, but you don't call it that, do you? Yeah, well, it's... Toiletten? Yeah, yeah, you say toilet is toiletten. Yeah. Okay. Bathroom is bath. Okay, where's the toilet? I want to know where the toilet is. Wo ist die Toilette? Wo ist die Toilette? Wo ist die Toilette? Scheiße. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be useful. Wo ist die Toilette? Wo ist die Toilette? What's the other saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the chess piece, man. I got this right here. Check this out. Virgin Mary de Guadalupe with a music note in the middle. That was another very painful tattoo. And uh, I got a big old giant back piece of a, a lion head, old school traditional Americana. But it's not finished. Like, I don't want to show it off because it's just lined out. So. I gotta uh, get it shaded and colored. And then once it's shaded and colored, then psh, sure.